next part of Texas. That is your salad bar. Sugar Ray Leonard is after another world championship. Tommy Hearns is set to defend the one he has. See them both when On presents the WBA Junior Middleweight and Welterweight Championships this June, live from the Astrodome. Kaluli challenged by Leonard. Hearns versus by Ian. And now, the next part of Texas. Page, I would agree with you, but this time you're wrong. Mom is not trying to hide anything. Well, then why didn't she go right to the police and tell them everything, Dennis? What good would that have done? It would only have dragged Mom and Vivian into this thing, and the, it, this is complicated enough mess as it is. Why are you protecting Iris? Because this is a criminal case. Mom and Vivian could be dragged into this as accessories to the crime, and I don't want that. Well, what would be the point, Paige? I'm going to prison as it is. It wouldn't make sense. Dennis. I have to know what happened that night. Look, I don't want to go over this anymore. I've already gone over everything with the police. Dennis, please. This is important. This is your life. My life is over. Don't you understand? I killed a man. How many times do I have to say it and to how many people? I'm pleading guilty. There won't even be a trial. No trial? No. I'll go before the judge. He'll pass sentence. That'll be it. Dennis, this is really important. You have to tell me what really happened that night. Come on, it's not that complicated. I got very drunk. I went to Chris's office with the intent of getting even with the man. When I got there, he showed me your publicity stills. Oh, the things he must have said to you. Oh, my God, what you must have felt. What did you expect? And then he showed me where he was keeping the film in his safe. We fought, and I killed the man. Do you remember killing him? Paige. Do you? <laughs> when Mom got there, there was just Chris and me. We were the only two there. What does that prove, Dennis? You remember seeing the film, you remember seeing the stills, but you don't remember actually killing Chris. Don't you see? When Mom got there, there was just Chris and me. I must have killed him. Don't you understand, Look, Dennis? Look, Paige, this what is... you're doing is very valiant. But it doesn't take an Einstein to figure out that I killed Chris. If you remembered anything of the murder, then I would... Look, will you just it... forget it, please? Do you remember what you said to me, darling? Please heed your own advice. Don't keep anything from the police, please. Tell them the truth from the very beginning, all right? Paige, this information is not going to help me now. Don't be so sure. Well, how do I look? Pretty as a picture. <laughs> you know, Jeb, you are either taking a crash course in ego building or the big apple has turned you into a loony. <laughs> neither one of them. Kimasabe never speak with full tongue. Oh, will you stop it? I can never get a serious word out of you. You're right. I'm delirious today. <laughs> Be serious. Go! 
Hey, everybody. I got some great news. Where have you been? I called the hotel and you didn't leave a message. I thought you were never going to get here. I'm sorry, darling. I've been busy. Real busy. Well, what's up? Did you get in to see any booking agents? Nope. No? Nope. Did a whole lot better. Well, what? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what? Are you ready? Yes. Huh? For what? Oh, don't know. You, you gotta get... Sit down first, okay? Okay, I'm sitting down. All right. Now, now, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Would you just tell me? Okay. I have you, Miss Linda Decker, the Yellow Rose of Texas, scheduled to make her national TV debut. What are you <laughs> talking about? I'm talking about the fact that I got you one of these morning talk shows. They want you to sing a hit song that's all over town. And then maybe another song, and then they're going to interview you. Well, ain't that something, Lena? <laughs> well, Elena, aren't you excited? Yes, of course I am. Hey, well, what, what talk show? I don't remember which one, man. I talked to about 4,000 different people. I don't know, all, but I got it all written down. You're supposed to be at the studio at 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah? 7, 7 o'clock? Why so early? 7 o'clock in the morning? 7 o'clock in the morning, two days from today. That's so they give you some time. You know, you got to have time to rehearse, get into makeup and all that. Oh, Billy, all I know no. is that you're going to be on the air by somewhere between 8.30 and 9. My vocal cords don't work that you're early You're just going to have morning. to start teaching them to do that. I'll tell you what, why don't you talk to them? You know how people talk to plants, stuff like that? Come <laughs> on, Billy, just have it. Well, I'm serious about this, Elena. I'll tell you, one of these days, you're going to be making a film. You're going to be making an honest to goodness film, and you got to be in shape. you got to get in a whole different schedule, because they start filming like 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, I don't know, Billy Joe. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I think we got to get our superstar here, and now they got her all worked up. we got to give her some time to calm down, so let's get out of here, okay? We'll get a beer. Wait, did Ricky get here yet? Psh, Ricky? Wait. Well, no, no, the plane, I called the airport. The plane's going to be late, but don't worry. It's going to be here in time for the, for the show. No problem. Good, good. Good luck, superstar. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Not dead. Did you hear that, Bernie Bear? I am going to be on national television. <laughs> I'm going to be a superstar. <laughs> I wish Bernie were here to see me now. Skip. Hi, Lena. Surprised to see me? <laughs> 